Hello friends, Radhika Ravikumaya. So welcome back. Uh, we'll just continue with the uh, sequence generator. So now let us see the syntax of uh, sequence generator. So in order to create the sequence generator, you just need to mention create. Then say sequence keyword. Then give the name of the sequence, whatever you want. Then uh, next uh, you need to say start with like from which value you want to start if I say start with 2 uh, but by default uh, the start value will be 1 ok uh, you can specify whichever value you want to start with but by default it will be 1 ok then uh, next will be increment by some you can say 10 also but by default it will be 1 that is once you start with 1 by what you want to increment it if you say 1 it will get incremented by 1 that is 1 2 3 like that but if you say increment by 10 or something it will start with 1 then it will increment by 10 then the next value will be like 11 12 like that ok so the next thing is like you need to mention max value that is you can give any max value of 500 or something so this will be the limit that you specify usually no max value is specified by default so the fourth one is something called cycle here uh, like how many times you want this to repeat like one if you say one uh, then increment by something one then the max value is 500 once when it reaches 500 again if you want to repeat it then you need to use the cycle keyword ok uh, then the next one is uh, something called cache this is the number of value in ram so i guess by default the value will be 20 so now while creating so this word is the syntax of um, sequence generator now while creating i'll just make use of increment i mean start and start with an increment so i won't be mentioning all these things these are all are optional if you want to use it you can use it but some i just uh, mentioned the default values that will be specified for these keywords ok so let us go to our sql plus and start creating the sequence generator so here let me start uh, creating the sequence generator for that you, ju you just need to mention create then say sequence then give a sequence name i'll just mention it as seq then uh, start with one ok then increment by two ok so that's it you can see that sequence got created now how to make use of this sequence is now let me create a table called uh, create table something called tab and let it have some uh, values like uh, a column called sorry column called id and uh, name of varchar some 20 so the table got created now while inserting i'll be making use of the sequence generator you need to mention insert into tab then values here in values instead of mentioning the id i will just mention it as seq dot i already told in the previous tutorial regarding some pseudo columns so you need to make use of pseudo columns in order to fetch the values so i am going to make use of next val because it will fetch me the next val so in the first case it will give me the the value is 1 so we will see that how it works so i am going to mention it as sequence dot next val then comma I'll uh, the next column is the my name so let me give some name John or something sorry so one row got uh, created again uh, let it be sequence dot next val I'll mention it as score so again row got created now when I make use of this cur value we'll see what the values and I'll mention the Scott instead of Scott I'll mention it as something like Mary ok now let us select 
star from tab you can see it started with one sequence generator i as i said starts with one it has given the id as one first then john as in john name john then the next in the next uh, the value is given as three because i have said increment by two that is two plus one is three so it's given as uh, three and then the name is inserted then finally in the next insert i have given it as curve value that means it will fetch me the current value that is three itself so it's given the value is three so this is how the sequence generator will work hope uh, uh, you people have understood how the sequence generator will work if there are any queries then please do let me know so thank you very much for watching